For a bent over row with parallel grip, you can use dumbbells or kettlebells. Begin with your feet parallel, hip width apart, and knees soft. I'll actually show you from the side first so you can see the back position. That's really important on this. Engage your core and draw your shoulders down and back, shoulder blades squeezing together. Maintain this posture as you hinge at your hips and lower your torso toward the floor. Now, at its highest point, you can be about a 45 degree angle, and at its lowest point, you can be just above parallel to the floor, so you pick the position that works for you, maintaining that flat back. If you cannot maintain a flat back, modify in the way that I'll show you next. Okay, from here, with your palms facing toward each other, Think about squeezing a penny between your shoulder blades. That's what will initiate this movement. So gaze at the floor diagonally downward, chin tucked, back is nice and flat. Inhale, and now exhale, let's squeeze that penny. And row the weights up, elbows sliding right past your waistline. You should feel the muscles in your back squeezing together. Inhale, lower down, and exhale, row up. If you are unable to maintain proper form in that position, or if you have any low back pain on this, what you can do instead is do a single arm row supported. So you have one hand on a bench, on a couch, whatever works for you, and then your other arm is going to do the rowing. So from here, we'll row up, drive your shoulder blade in and back like you're still squeezing that penny, and lower back down. 